gonna be so good. Moonshine. Formaggio, parmigiano. He has a mask. Oh, okay. It's about that time again. What is up? If you're watching this, that means you got another day. It is day, I don't know, three or four of the epidemic. Anyway, Beverly still, Beverly stills, Beverly Hills still has exotics. So we're gonna be walking around today. I'm here with the Speedy Guidi. He's very Italian and he and uh, LA car spotter Cody make up a duo with a show called The Coming In Clutch Show, which I have appeared on. You guys can check that. I'll link it in the description below. And I'm gonna take on the persona of a Southern guy because I mean, I am from the deep, deep South. He's gonna take on the persona of an Italian. Un Italiano. Andiamo. We're gonna talk about cars, trends, and things like that. Some that we like, and some that just really bother us. Mostly things we don't like. Let's go. <laughs> All right there, youngins. My name is Bill, and uh, this is my southern alter ego. For those of you who don't know, I am actually from North Carolina. North Carolina, the uh, entire extended family actually does mostly sound just like this. We grew up watching football, and you don't really see exotics like this like you do out here in this fancy pants Beverly Hills. Ciao a tutti, mi chiamo Lorenzo. I will speak only in English for this video for you American to understand. We're going to walk around this beautiful place, Beverly Hills. A bad accent. This is gonna be so good. Matches. Let's go find some car. Match. <laughs> we need to address something has been grinding my gears lately. There's a vehicle out there that is absolutely atrocious. This thing looks uglier than a fat mama cooking baked beans on a Sunday. That is the Porsche Panamera. It is a station wagon. I don't care what you say. I don't care if it has turbo in it. It is only good for taking your kids to Sunday church and that's about it. I kind of like the new one. The new one's nice. Lots of pasta in the back, you could put uh, your dog, lots of uh, formaggio, parmigiano. Oh look, a Supra, oh I mean BMW, look. Okay, we need to talk about this car too. I'm so glad that it pulled up. Every YouTuber in history has one of them right there. Or what is it, the C8 now? C8. Whatever the, the newest trend is, this car and the C8. Call me a hater because I don't have one, but I don't think it's so cool that every YouTuber out there needs to buy one. I don't know, I wait for one with manual. There is another car though that is every wear in LA and uh, we don't really care for it that much. Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon. The cliche in Los Angeles is that you go find yourself a husband that can buy you a white or matte black G-Wagon so you can drive around to Chanel or Louis, go buy your bags, prove to everyone that you're an entrepreneur. Seriously, the best way to just take cash and throw it down the toilet. <laughs> I actually have driven a G-Wagon 4x4 squared, all lifted like the boys. Even worse. To, like the boys used to do it down with the, uh, the tailgate uh, four, you know, back where I grew up. Every time you stop, it just rocks. Like the, uh, like the train, what was the, the wagon wheel? Like rocks, rock, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the lyric? Help me out. It's like, um, rock me, me baby, rock me like, like a wagon. wagon. Yeah, rock, rock, more rock like rock me, me like a four like by a G four. G wagon. G wagon, G wagon. For the sake of my own sanity, I'm gonna switch back to my own accent, but I am still very much from the South and technically a redneck. Still very I'm Italian. Still very Italian and very much Italian. Well, here's your B-roll of the most atrocious Porsche that has ever come off the line. That, my friends, is an S Martin V8 Vantage car. It's a great mom car. Like, get, like, I'd buy that for my wife. Is there a mom in there right now? And right behind you, there's a nice Aston Martin DB11. There is a mom in there right now. Another Aston Martin DB11. Wow, okay, so even in the, oh, oh, oh hello. Even in the uh, Corona apocalypse, whatever. People are still. People are still driving their supercars to go shop on Sunday. Oh yeah, there it is, the mall crawler in white. Like as we said, literally as we said. Hate it, hate it. <laughs> oh, look at that oh thing. okay. Talk about Italian. 48, possibly. Put the, to put the top down. You listen to that V8 roar in the bass in that car. It's so loud, it rumbles through the bottom of your pants, and it goes up through your head, and it sh shoots and explodes, and. It's, so quick and you pull the paddle shifter and carbon fiber and you go flying into the abyss eating pasta and cannolis. On a scale amazing. from one to Olive Garden, how Italian is that Ferrari? <laughs> Olive Garden even isn't on the spectrum, dude. It's <laughs> it is when you're God. from the south. That's about as Italian as it gets. Okay, in that case, it's pretty Olive Garden. G-Wagon. 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 I'm gonna do the review on the G-Wagon. Southern Boys review. The G-Wagon, you think, is the ultimate hauling machine. Pickup truck of Beverly Hills. It's basically what you can use to, you know, move around all of the, uh, however you say this word. 
Bulgari. That you buy another G wagon. G -Wagon. Passing us right now. Oh my God, this guy's from NC State. I might have to talk to this dude. Do it. My name's Randy. My name's Melanie Hudson. My name's Gay Regan. And they're all from Raleigh, North Carolina. Woo! So have you guys been here before? No. What are the cars that we like to see in North Carolina? What do you see someone driving? Ford. 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 Lifted yes. trucks. Yeah, so when you think North Carolina, what do, what do people think of? Moonshine. It's like what's like one of the nicest restaurants we can go to in North Carolina? Oh, let's see. <laughs> Mustang oh. drivers. What's a phrase that we always say in North Carolina? Y'all come see us now, you hear? I love that. <laughs> G -Wagon, G -Wagon. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Can we talk about this gap really quick? I've seen more gap on the hillbillies' teeth where I'm from than this car. This dude hits a ladybug and he's gonna hit the wheel well. Definitely. Dolce Gabbana, so that's three. You got Prada, you got Gucci, you got Loro Piano, you have uh, Bulgari, we already passed that, you have. So what you're telling me is that the Italians know a thing or two about style. Just a little bit. This R8, right here, we're gonna talk about it. The R8 is just like the McLaren 570S. It's the least that everybody gets when they get a little bit of money and they wanna drive a supercar. O'Gara in Los Angeles hands out 570S leases like candy. It's basically your typical entrepreneur who gets a little bit of money and is like, hmm, what supercar can I flex on Instagram? And then they go lease it. And if it's not a 570S or an Audi R8, it's a BMW i8. Come up with something creative. Like, you don't have to have a supercar to stand out. You just have to do something different. I missed one car on the, hey, hurry up, let's go lease a supercar as fast as we can and flex it list. Ferrari, California, right over there. Time to talk some cliches about us. A requirement if you're a car spotter is to immediately point out the car and say the name of the car no matter what, as soon as you see it. You start rattling off as many facts or figures about that car as quickly as you can. Flex your knowledge of the car that you don't own and probably won't own for a long time. I do that all the time. Do uh, laps and laps laps around the same area. We'll sit for hours if they think that a nice car might drive down the street that they're on. And then when they see it, they freak out for a couple seconds and then it's gone. And then they post some video clip that's shaky and looks like it's shot on a potato on Instagram and they put hashtag <laughs> ultra rare, all caps, Pagani something something with limited edition paint. And also a car spotter boy will literally sprint. Like if this, if I wanted a picture of this California tea over here and we, you know, if it was driving away and we we're like a block away, we we would literally be sprinting to catch up to it like a bunch of dorks. And then when we finally shoot it, we immediately look at our camera like, oh my God, what good shots they get. Look at the poser in the Adidas pants over there. What kind of nerd wears Adidas pants? Okay, I might be a terrible person for saying this, but I'm gonna say it. The best part by far about this entire Corona nonsense is you can drive anywhere you want in Los Angeles in a reasonable amount of time and we're able to actually get around and park what a concept <laughs> Black G -Wagon. G -Wagon. Black G -Wagon. is that a super bro <laughs> is that a soupy another cliche that just <sighs> grinds my gears is the tesla Tesla's are not cool. I'm sorry. I don't think they're cool. I don't think even if they're in matte black, which is an admittedly nice wrap, they're not cool. I get it. Oh my God, you're so quick. It's zero to 60 in like half a millisecond. I don't have gears. I'm so eco-friendly. LOL gas. Can we talk about the vanity plates on Teslas? Yeah, they're pretty heinous. Oh, pretty we're heinous. so, oh, oh, oh. We, we only use electricity. We're so much better than you. Dude, when I sit up up next to you on a stoplight and I can rev my engine and actually hear my car and all the modifications that I've built into it, to me, yeah, that's great. You can get to the next red light more efficiently than I can, but my car's gonna sound better doing it. And you have those ugly stickers all over you telling people that you're allowed to ride in the HOV lane only when there's one of you driving. Teslas do not look cool. White G-Wagon, black G-Wagon. And look at how fly we looking today. We're, I mean, we're matching, we're so cute. Oh my God. What is this keep walking, ridiculous keep monstrosity? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he has a mask on? He asked him to come to lunch, and he was like, how am I gonna eat lunch with my mask on? Put it to the two jabronis over here, look at this. I'm gonna cough on you. <laughs> he has so a mask, oh, okay. So we don't Fantastic. contaminate each other. Oh. 
he has the pants. I was supposed to have the pants. The reason I don't, because of the coronavirus, the pants did not ship, so I don't have the complete outfit. All right, yeah, I just thought of another car that I do not think is cool. I don't care who you are, and I've actually driven this one many times, and that is the A12 Super Fast. I get it. It's got a V12 You're in it. So You're wrong. tripping. I get oh it. God, it's a wrong. touring car. It's got curves, blah, blah, blah. Dude. The car sucks. Oh it's not God, fun so cool. to drive. It's like the best GT car ever made. Doesn't look cool at all. Yes, it oh does. I don't so care what good. color it's in. It's so good. Clearly, this isn't a popular opinion, but you know what? I don't care. The A12 super fast. Most trash Ferrari. So this Jew brony here brought us to this <laughs> Jewish Whoa. deli. I like that actually. That is a great one. I like that too. I'm gonna start using that. Took us to this Jewish deli. What do you have? I have a pastrami and corned beef. This man is drinking liquefied celery. I have cannolis here? <laughs> Definitely not. Absolutely not. Uh, but I'm gonna make sure you can go follow these two on IG. My Usually best Bilko? <laughs> this is my best Bilko. Guys, you see this guy and this guy? They drive this car and that car. Like, him. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, but one thing that I like that I think does not get enough attention are stock wheels on BMW. BMWs always have like literally the best stock wheels of all time, of any car. Yeah. Is that what your mom just, is that your mom? That's my girlfriend. She oh. said Mamma Mia. <laughs> when she heard the Lamborghini? Yeah. Check it out. It's another one. G -wagon. <laughs> because I'm so famous that I have to hide my face when I'm walking around in public. Oh, there's that same Huracan making another pass. Make the rounds. Make sure everybody sees the Huracan that you rented for a day. Oh, yeah. Spot of the day right there. Not get out of the way, F-type. It must be broken because it's not filtering out any of the bullshit. I'm gonna have his mouth. There's a cute little face down. He should put one on, then he'd be decent looking. <laughs> okay! <laughs> there's another one. Yeah, there's another one. Is that Seth Rogen? He's a real thing. Dude, this girl up here has the other it. half of Speedy's outfit. Maserati, can you do you grate cheese with those? Look at the poser parking their blue car in front of mine. So we originally came over here for two reasons. One, to spot the uh, 458 here that's lowered appropriately with some nice wheels. To spot yet another G-Wagon right here. Another G-Wagon. This car looks so much better, I've said this many times before, with a wing on it. Fig bird. The bird. What about the fig? That is McLaren's mascot. He was born in New Zealand. Comes in five colors. The wow. color you see here and the four colors I'm not striped. Oh my god, that's awesome. New Zealand no, it's thing. a no, it's a kiwi. kiwi. A fig goes in a wrong, Newton. Wrong, uh, wrong fruit. <laughs> Dude is literally here trying to get the shot. Almost got hit by a Lamborghini. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you go follow the Guidi and Car Spotter. We upload videos like this every single Tuesday and Thursday now, and we'll catch you next week. Peace. Like and subscribe. I always, I, you have to end it like that. Yeah, like and subscribe. We'll get more car content like this, and we'll catch you next week. Peace.